going on everybody thank you so much for coming back to another video welcome to the first video of 2021 i cannot believe that it is 2021 it just blows my mind 2020 was a hell of a year it wasn't a great year for a lot of people a lot of crazy stuff happened in the world and it just feels like altogether a very strange year but i want to say a big thank you to all of you guys who stuck around through all of that time here on my channel watching my videos supporting me and uh quite frankly being a light in 2020 for me you know i'm very blessed to look back at the year and despite the negatives there was definitely positives that i could take away from it and one of the biggest things was this channel and all of you who support me so genuinely thank you so much for your constant support through Throughout the course of 2020 i am not going anywhere in 2021 i have plenty of content or plenty of content i have plenty of videos planned out with plenty of collabs and in this video i'm absolutely happy to have my buddy jacob martin once again here in another collab we're going to be talking about the movie yes man so yes man tells the story of a man named carl played by jim carrey who after a divorce just kind of fell apart became this self-pitying kind of loser and wasn't ever really pushing himself to be anything better he stops hanging out with friends he's not really responding to their messages anymore and he kind of just is this cynical dude there's actually a funny scene near the beginning of the film where he's renting movies and he ends up renting a copy of the first saw movie and uh during the iconic scene where the guy's sawing through his leg he's just kind of standing there watching or sitting there watching and just kind of like come on you're halfway through already just snap it off and uh that just kind of sets up his character for this movie he's just this guy who after the divorce just stopped caring he's missing out on big life events of his friends and he just stopped living he's going to work and that's pretty much all he's doing this film also mainly stars bradley cooper and zoe de chanel but there are plenty of other people that show up throughout this film like terrence stamp and this is just a movie for me that i just genuinely have always enjoyed this is one of those movies that's kind of like comfort food for me it's kind of predictable and it's not a movie that's necessarily beautifully written but it's a movie that i've always just found to be an entertaining good time every time i've popped it on whether it's something that I'm just watching while I'm lying down or maybe I'm doing something around the house and I just kind of want something on the TV. I've just always thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've always just found it to be a nice... A nice comedy it's not a movie that's like laugh out loud funny it definitely has that kind of vibe and there are moments that definitely make me laugh quite a bit i love jim carrey in this film i think this is one of his most underrated comedies but it's also a movie like i said that's not beautifully written so at the same time i can understand why it kind of just isn't super popular but i think it's a movie for me that it's just kind of always leaves me with a smile while i'm watching it even if i'm not absolutely just busting my sides with laughter i usually almost always have a smile on and yeah i really just thoroughly enjoy the feel and vibe of this movie. Uh, the general premise of this film is, like I said, he's this guy who's just kind of not living his life. He's just self-pitying and just kind of sitting around and not pushing for anything greater. And uh, yeah, one day he ends up being reunited with an old co-worker of his who's now just kind of excited and hyped on life and said that he's become a yes man. Uh, he invites him to this yes man seminar. Like It's kind of like just like Kind of like a cult, but like not super culty, but at the same time, kind of, yeah. And the premise when he gets there is to essentially just say yes to everything. The guy, the guy who's running it, played by Terrence Stamp, like I mentioned earlier, he's like the guru of this seminar and he comes down to Carl and actually kind of makes what he says is a covenant with him, saying that he has to say yes to everything, uh, and if not, that he's gonna have bad things happen to him. At, at first, he's kinda like, whatever, but once he starts saying no to things, conveniently, there's a couple things that go wrong, and then he thinks that he has to say yes to everything. So then he starts saying yes to everything, but over the course of the film, sure, he gets himself into some trouble with you know some of the things that he may do and say yes to, but a lot of it led him to meeting new people, having new experiences, and you know building these new relationships, primarily with the character of Zoe Deschanel. Uh, yeah, this is just a movie that I feel on the surface is a little bit predictable and is a bit of a goofy premise, but I think it's well acted and it's fun and it's just kind of a lighthearted film to just kind of watch and just kind of have on in the background while you're just kind of hanging out. If you've never seen it before, I do highly recommend it. And I think for me, like I said, it's one of Jim Carrey's, you know, more underrated films. Now, before I get deeper into my thoughts, talk about some of the negatives and some of my favorite moments about the movie, uh, let's go ahead and hear what Jacob had to say about this one. going on everyone on YouTube. I'm Jacob once again teaming up with Anthony A. Perez. I hope you all have had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you all have had a wonderful Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and I hope we all have a wonderful new year going into 2021 and hopefully 2021 will be a better year for everybody. 
So what is the movie that Anthony A. Perez has asked me to tackle next? Yes, man. And this is a movie that I've heard of. I remember when the movie came out in 2008, but I never watched the film. I'm not really the biggest like Jim Carrey fan, but when you ask me to do this film, I'm like, okay, I'll check it out just for the fun of it. I was able to catch the film on Netflix. I did say it was leaving Netflix at the end of December, though, so I don't know where it's going to go next on a streaming service, but I did watch Yes Man on Netflix, and this movie came out in 2008, and the film's directed by Peyton Reed, who's later gone on and directed like the Ant-Man films, and he directed some episodes of The Mandalorian including that incredible season two finale, which gives me goosebumps every time I think about it. That's a fantastic episode. Yes Man stars Jim Carrey. He plays a very depressed, lonely man, very bitter after a breakup and divorce that he had, and he says no to everything. One of his friends convinces him to join this organization called like the Yes Man or something like that. It's like this cult like organization where you have to say yes to everything and when I heard this I'm like really that's the premise of this movie it's such a weird premise because it can provide some great laughs but you can see a lot of plot holes within this philosophy like yeah you can say yes to everything you can help people out when they're down and when they're down their luck and It'll help you become happier, more hopeful, and optimistic, yes. And we see that throughout the course of the film. But then there's like the weird scenarios that happen. Like, let's say somebody asks if you want to rob a convenience store. Do you say yes to that? Or if somebody asks, hey, do you want to rob a bank? Would you say yes to that? There's like this weird joke that happens where there's this old lady that's next door to Jim Carrey's apartment who has this weird obsession with Jim Carrey and asks if she wants to make out with him. And that is like the creepiest joke in the entire movie. That I was like... Very grossed out watching it. It was just wrong on so many levels. And yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Yes Men as a whole. There's enjoyable parts in it. And when the film is funny, it is really funny. But I think I enjoy parts of it more than I do the whole, because I do think the humor is a bit hit and miss. Jim Carrey is actually really enjoyable in the film. He does commit to the role. I'm not the biggest Jim Carrey fan, but when he commits to a project, the film is usually entertaining. Like, I enjoy Ace Ventura. The Grinch, while he commits, the execution of the Sioux story is a mess, and I think that film is hot garbage. That's a hot take, I know, but I'm not a fan of Jim Carrey's The Grinch. But I do like Yes Man. I do think it's an enjoyable film, and I do enjoy Jim Carrey's commitment to the role, and he does have some side-splitting moments at times. The film does have a good supporting cast. Like, I enjoy Zoe Deschanel in the film, who kind of becomes the love interest for Jim Carrey's character, the more he goes on this crazy comical adventure. Bradley Cooper is also in this film, and he has a couple funny bits in one of the supporting roles. There's a lot of crazy cameos that show up in this film with some actors you might recognize. Like the guy who's running the Yes Man thing, cult thing, is Terrence Stamp. He's a great character actor. You might know him. He plays General Zod in the Richard Donner Superman movies, or if you're a big Star Wars fan, like I know Perez is a big Star Wars fan, so if you're a big fan of Star Wars, you know he also played Chancellor Valorum in The Phantom Menace. So it's cool seeing him in something as wacky as Yes Man, where he gets to play a more lighter side as an actor compared to some of the more serious stuff he's done over the years. He's very entertaining in the small role that he is in. I will say the movie doesn't really offer much. I'd say the movie is very predictable throughout. There's not really any real surprises that this movie has, which some of my favorite comedies have like these crazy jokes that happen which help enhance the quality of the film. And there's so many crazy shenanigans that happen that catch you off guard. I don't think Yes Men actually went that far, even though there's a few jokes that don't really land for me. I do think this is a film that you can watch it once 
enjoy it for the fun of it, but I don't think it's going to stick with you for the long run. Even though there's aspects of the premise where I think if you had a better director and you had better writers and you go all out with the premise and make it a mix between sharp comedy and clever writing and a very emotional story, I think it could be like a it's a wonderful life type scenario where it would help you rethink your life in general and help you strive to be a better person. But I don't, Yes Man doesn't really go all the way for me in that regards. I think the film is more focused on its comedy. And a lot of the comedy does work. There are some funny bits throughout. I enjoyed some of the wackiness of the premise at times, but it's not a movie that's going to stick with me anytime soon either. But it is an enjoyable film. I do recommend it at least once. I recommend it even more if you're a diehard Jim Carrey fan because he is genuinely funny in this. And it's, it's worth watching for like a rainy day scenario. Like if you just want to watch a fun movie that's not too long, it's one you can enjoy, have a good laugh at it when if there's nothing better to do. Then yeah, this is a good movie to watch. But overall, this one's not one of my absolute favorites. I've seen Jim Carrey in better. Peyton Reed's definitely done a lot better as a director. But it's not too bad of a movie. I thought based on the goofy looking poster, I'd be expecting a dud. But Yes Man is not bad. I think this is an enjoyable watch. It's not the worst thing I've seen. And it's a decent enough comedy that did get a few chuckles out of me. So I'm going to give Yes Man a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, I'm going to give Yes Man a 64 out of 100. Thank you Perez once again for asking me to collaborate on one of your videos. I've enjoyed collaborating with you in the past. Uh, we've done some great ones together, like Seven, and even some Disney Channel originals, which some of them were actually better than I expected. I don't think I've done any real duds yet on your channel and that's actually pretty good although uh, we're always not going to agree on certain films but I'm glad that the movies that you suggested me to collaborate on your channel are movies that I have really really enjoyed and Yes Man is definitely no exception. I definitely enjoyed being a part of this video and I'm sure Perez will leave the links to my channel down in the description below. I also review movies, I do TV reviews, ranking videos, and I do other fun stuff. Pretty similar to what Perez does over on his channel. I definitely appreciate if you like and subscribe my content and head over to my channel. I greatly appreciate whatever feedback you send me. And I hope to collaborate on more videos on Anthony A. Perez's channel. I enjoyed being a part once again. I'm not going to take any more time from you. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this film, Perez. So take it away. Back to your review. A big thanks to Jacob for being here in this video. Please, guys, you can find the link to his channel down below in the description box. Go give him some love. And, uh, yeah, man, I really thoroughly enjoyed hearing your thoughts on this. Uh, I think I love this one film a little bit more than you or enjoyed a little bit more than you, but I love that you, that you still enjoyed it. I love that you were able to kind of get something out of it. Yeah, this is a movie that, like you said, is, is fairly predictable, but at the same time, I just find it to be a, a nice, fun watch. Uh, and I think at the core is that what I really enjoy about this film is beyond it being on the surface level, the silly premise and the silly situation the core of the movie, I think, is really about kind of living your life, you know? Near the end of the film, Terrence Stamp's character ends up telling him, like, dude, like, I was just kind of riffing, you know what I mean? Like, there's not, like, a real covenant on you, or, like, you know, there's, no, there's not something you have to kind of follow 100%. You know, the basic idea of the Yes Man program is mainly to just kind of start saying yes to things, not being so quick to say no, you know what I mean? It's a case-by-case -case basis, and Carl takes it to the extreme, which is where we get this movie from and the rid ridiculous antics that end up happening, but I think it taught him that through saying yes he met so many amazing people he was kind of driven to do things he kind of put himself into places where he was challenged and he kind of grew from it and he became this better person and i think that jim carrey really sells the performance of carl really really well i really thoroughly enjoy the chemistry and the love kind of that built between uh carl and uh, zoe deschanel's character which her name is blanking me at this very moment in time but i do really thoroughly enjoy this film i find it to be a nice heartwarming comedy that again can be a little bit predictable and is one of those movies that you know isn't necessarily 
overly unique, but I also find it to be pretty unique in its own way. I should also mention, like Jacob said, that this film is directed by Peyton Reed, who is probably best known now for doing uh, the Ant-Man films, as well as the couple episodes that he directed in this latest season of The Mandalorian, but he's definitely done plenty of other things. And I didn't know that he directed this film until I was preparing for this video, but I'm very happy to hear that because I can definitely see the flavor of what kind of would be into the Ant-Man films. Obviously those films are very different, but there's, there is that bit of a flavor of that, just that nice lighthearted feel that I think he's able to really capture in his uh, projects, specifically anything that's more comedy based. So yeah, that's gonna be my thoughts on Yes Man. Not a super long review. There's not a whole lot to talk about. As far as the negatives, like I said, it's a little bit predictable. There are some elements about the film that are not absolutely hilarious. There are some jokes that are kind of more of just like, at this point, I kind of laugh just kind of like a, like a, yeah, haha, there's that, that funny joke or that, you know, that that random joke in the movie that I've kind of just become accustomed to. But it's not one of those things where I feel like, oh, if I recommend this movie to you, I'm expecting you to just bust out in laughter. There are moments that I think are genuinely funny. And then there's just some moments that have just become funnier to me because they're just so silly and dumb that they're not necessarily hilarious. But, you know, I guess that could be a negative for some people depending on your sense of humor. But I just enjoy Jim Carrey. I should say that as well. I, I am a big fan. I don't know if it's true or not. I'd have to look, but I think this is the first Jim Carrey carry centric film that I have reviewed here on the channel. So yeah, you know, there's, it's not a perfect film. There are elements about it that just are a little bit over the top and that, you know, it's not necessarily always incredibly well written. Not all the jokes are bangers, but I find it to be just a good lighthearted time that I can just kind of have a smile on while I'm watching and uh, I do highly recommend it. So a big thanks to you guys for watching. A big thanks to Jacob for being here in this video. You can find the link to his channel down below in the description box. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment your thoughts. Do you like this movie? Do you not like this movie? Subscribe, please, please subscribe. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate all of you guys and I hope that 2021 is amazing for all of you. I know that's gonna actually take some time to build up to this really great year. Hopefully, you know, we still are kind of carrying the baggage of things that are just not capable of being escaped right now from 2020, obviously most notably COVID. But I hope you guys all stay safe, enjoy your 2021, and I hope you guys stick along for the ride. I said stick along for the ride like I was going to end the video there without saying my classic bye-bye. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.